welcome to Kenya's Secrets, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. Different individuals from President Uhuru Kenyatta's bureau have transparently shown their political tendency by lobbying for the Azimiola Umoha official applicant Rala Dinga, he has stayed shifting back and forth. Might it at some point be Tourism Bureau Secretary Najib Balala's greatest political error that could bind him into the cold for the following five years? As of now, the battlefronts have been laid out, and it is exceptionally evident that either Ryla or Deputy President William Ruto will turn into Kenya's fifth president. That is the reason a part of the ongoing bureau is straightforwardly lobbying for the previous prime minister. Dr. Fred Matiangi Interior, James Macheria Transport, Joe Macheru ICT, Peter Munu Agriculture, and Eugene Wamalwa Defense are a portion of the CSS who are straightforwardly lobbying for Ryla. The way things are, they are guaranteed of a spot in the following government should the ODM pioneer secure the administration. In any case, for Balala, a canny legislator, he might wind up exposed after the August 9 general political decision. His luckluster way to deal with 2022 general political decision might his greatest fix. For somebody who has been in government starting around 2003, Balala is an extremely large gamble of passing up a great opportunity this time round. Expecting Ryla becomes president, how might he choose the previous Mbita MP to the bureau, when he has in a real sense been perched wavering? Indeed, even in an occasion that Dr. Ruto secures the administration, there is ensure that Balala will have a spot in the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Maybe, this is the ideal opportunity for the CS to awaken from his rest. In other news, the 2022 race's requests that we ought to be prepared for anything in spite of our unified help for a specific official competitor. Rylan and Ruto has everything necessary to win the August general races. William Ruto was today in Narok district a couple of days after Ryla visited the locale. Inhabitants crowded Alentamama Arena, where they held a statement on who they will uphold for the place of president and governor. The political decision has been impelled as a two-pony challenge between resigned Prime Minister Raila Odinga with his running mate Martha Karua and Deputy President William Ruto who will hold Mathira individual from parliamentary Gathi Gachagwa as his running mate. Mutahinguni embraced an assessment study yesterday for the official office through his approved Twitter page which has been expected this evening. In the results, 89,715 Kenyans have set up a section in the review, and United Democratic Alliance flagbearer William Ruto along with Rigathi Gachigua have been positioned as the champs and Ryla came next. Ruto had 52% ubiquity, while Ryla had 41% prominence. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.